Well, hello there. Happy Monday. I hope you all had a great weekend and were able to celebrate Mother's Day with your moms yesterday. I know I got to go visit with my mom and even though we visited from far away, I got to see her and wish her a happy Mother's Day. All right, so this week we're starting a new math lesson and it is about making a 10 to add. Here we go. So let's start here. 11 is 10 and well, what I could do is I could put 11 in my brain or 10 in my brain because we want to start with 10 and figure out how many more ones do we need. So I know in the problem that we need 110 because we have it right here. So how many ones do I need? 10, 11. I need one more one. Let's try it with this one. Start with 10 and we want to count on to 13. So 10, 11, 12, 13. That shows me that I need three ones. Let's try this one, starting with 10, and we're counting on to 15. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So I need one, two, three, four, five ones. So 15 is 10 and five. So I know that 10 plus five more is 15. Let's start with 10 and count on until 18. So we can find out how many ones we need and a 10 to make 18. So 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So I have five, six, seven, eight ones. So 18 is 10 and eight ones. Last but not least, starting with 10, counting on to 16. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So five, six. 16 is 10 and six ones. Great work. All right, let's move on. Try it. Nine children are on the bus. Four more children get on the bus. How many children are on the bus? So let's highlight the important information. So we know nine children are already on the bus. So that number is important, nine. Four more get on the bus. So four is another important number. And we know it's four more. So that means we already have the nine and we need to add four more. And the question is asking, how many children are now on the bus? So I see this bus, but if we click the next slide, I see a 10 frame. So this one, if we drew a 10 frame in this bus, it could help us. Or we could draw our own picture. So let's try it both ways. On this one, we'll draw our own picture, and on this problem, we'll use the 10 frame. So we have nine children. Let's draw the nine children in blue. So I'm gonna highlight the number nine. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now we know that four more get on. So I'm gonna draw the four in green. One, two, three, four. So now what we need to do is count. We know that, our, that nine are here and four are here. So if we wanna know the total amount of children on the bus, we're going to add. So nine plus four equals, if I wasn't sure off the top of my head, I could start with nine. So put nine in your calculator and count on by four. So nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So I did that using just the numbers. I could also count the pictures or the circles that we drew. So one, two, three, we have nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So there were 13 children on the bus. There we go, let's try the next problem with the 10 frame. 
It says nine children are on the bus, but instead of four more getting on, we have five more children get on the bus. How many children are on the bus? So we know we have nine, so I'm gonna circle that in blue, and we have five more get on the bus. And the question is asking, how many children are on the bus? So let's draw our nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have nine. Now we need five more. So I'm going to fill up this 10 frame. So one, and let's write the rest below the 10 frame. Two, three, four, five. So I see that we have right here, we have one full 10 frame. So that means there's 10. And how many left over? Four. There are four left over. So nine and five is the same as 10 and four more. So how many children are on the bus? I could add 10 plus four, and I know that zero and four are four, and if I carry the one down, 14. I could also count the picture. So we have 10 in the 10 frame, 11, 12, 13, 14. So how many children are on the bus? 14. Here's some new math language we can learn for this week. It says make 10. Here's some examples. So here we have one, two, three, four, five on the top and five on the bottom. So they used pictures to draw 10. And it's almost as if they put it in a 10 frame. See here how we had five on top and five on bottom, but without the lines. So they just put the 10 like this. All right, let's look at this one. Another example is an equation. Here we have five plus five. That makes 10. Here's using some words. So we have the number eight and two. Eight, nine, 10. Eight and two make 10. Here's another way. They're using a number bond. So the total is the top, which is 10, and a part is nine, and another part is one. So here we have one part, another part, and the whole, part, part, whole, or a number bond. And the total is 10, because we want to make 10. Here's our last problem for today. It says nine children are on the bus. Oh my goodness, there's lots of kiddos going to school today. So how many children are on the bus? Nine. Seven more children get on the bus. So we know that seven more get on the bus. And the question's asking, how many children are on the bus now? All right, let's first draw our nine in the 10 frame. One, count with me, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now we need to draw seven more. So my first job is to fill up the 10 frame. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Notice how with my green, after I'd already filled the 10 frame, I kept filling it in as if there was another 10 frame, even though there wasn't the box to show me. That can help you when you're doing your math. So we have 10, we have 10 here, I know because we have a 10 frame that's filled. However, we do not have another 10. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. So that means that we need to add. So we have 10 
plus, what else do we need? We have the 10. Now we need the 6. 10 plus 6. And let's find our answer to figure out how many children are on the bus. 0 plus 6 is 6. And 1 plus nothing is 1. So we have 16. We could double check this by counting on our picture. So we have 10 in the 10 frame, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So 16 is our total. And that's the end of our slideshow for today. Now it's your turn to practice. So you're going to be able to practice on your own, making a 10 in order to add. This will help you, especially when you go on to second grade. So this is a great strategy to practice now. All right, if you have any questions, I'm always available by email, text, or phone call. Your parents have my information if they need to reach out. All right, I miss you very, very much, and I wish you good luck. Have a marvelous Monday. Bye-bye.